I'm David, I'm Product Director at Corston. I work with the team here to design and deliver interesting new products for the home. My name is James and I'm one of the product designers here at Corston. We designed a range of Corston plastic back boxes to suit plasterboard installations. The idea was to make installation really easy. We really wanted to use proper recycled plastic as a material for these back boxes. We felt that it was really important to try and use less virgin plastic. We decided to make this product because pretty much all the other back boxes out there were kind of cheap, nasty, uh, PVC kind of brittle, and certainly none of them were good for the environment. As a company, we're very interested in recycled plastics. It's very common for manufacturers to put recyclable on a product, which really means it's made out of brand new plastic. For us, the really interesting thing is to take waste plastic out of the waste ecosystem and make it into new products. It's much harder to do than it is to say. So I've been uh, involved in this product from start to finish. So I've done everything from initial concepts to the 3D printing and prototyping and uh, testing and all the way through to kind of the details of manufacture. This back box has been made specifically with our products in mind. So they're gonna fit really well. We have dedicated back plate stops, so you always get the perfect flush depth and really thin bezels. So when we put our front plate on, it's gonna sit really flat to the wall uh, instead of other back box manufacturers. Actually, that lip is quite thick. One of the reasons to make our own back boxes is because we really prioritise a very thin profile to the wall. These back boxes make getting that much easier. Super easy to install. So the idea is that basically uh, you have these uh, tabs on a side. So you insert it into the hole. You literally just push it across until you hear a little click. And that's when it's engaged. And then you just pull back this tab and it snaps up and it grabs the plasterboard from the back and then you're in, like you saw it, job done. Um, you're ready to install uh, your electric bits. You drive the screw in, your back plate will catch on the back of, or on the top of these tabs, and then you know you're flush and you're ready to put your front plate on. There's no kind of guesswork. But by far the biggest difference with these back boxes uh, is that they're 100% recycled. No other back box on the market, to our knowledge at least, uh, has that. And not only is it 100% recycled, it's all post-consumer waste. That makes a big difference. It means that, you know, something like a, a plastic bottle has been ground down, reworked, and now it's actually something different. Our back boxes are generally made of old bottle tops that you find on soft drinks bottles. They're collected by hand, they're manually sorted, and they're shredded into raw material to make new plastic. This material is much more challenging to use than a brand new plastic. It's a bit more expensive and more difficult to work with. The plastic that goes in your waste bin goes on a really long journey, and you don't quite know where it goes. To get waste plastic, back into the manufacturing supply chain. It has to be sorted uh, and it goes through quite a few steps and processes. We had to investigate all of those processes to make sure that the plastic we're using is actually 100% recycled. Um, when you have recycled plastic especially, um, you lose all the mechanical properties that virgin plastic has. So it's a lot of experimentation and trial and error to make sure that you get like the really stable product that you're after um, rather than something that's flexy or deformed shortly after. If you ever did need to uh, recycle your back box, it goes straight back into the process again. And then you can start creating like this recircular really economy where materials flow. We feel like we're leading the market in our own little way on recycled plastic. We're really proud to make something out of 100% recycled plastic and we're looking forward to applying that knowledge into other products that we sell. The best part of the project is it was a really good test bed for like designing future products that are also recycled and really kind of progress this sort of like thinking as well that it doesn't need to be recycled plastic really but why wouldn't it be? For the past two or three years now Corson's really been trying to push anything that we can to improve our footprint on the earth whether that's kind of 
recyclable packaging for our brass products, uh, eliminating plastic when we don't need it. Now that we know that we can do safe plastic products that are recyclable and recycled, we just really hope this kind of goes a long way now to the wider push that I think society probably has as well, where um, we can reduce, reuse and recycle the planets for everyone really. So we should all really be looking after it. And as a designer, the buck kind of stops with us, I guess.